guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today's video is on this, the Logitech G920 steering wheel which I unboxed back in December and I was just looking at the statistics here and it says that it is now on 12,723 views and that is the most viewed video on this channel so I'd like to just say thank you for that but I thought that because I've been getting so many questions about this and how it's holding up since I got it I thought I would just do a quick video just to discuss how it's been going so first off I just want to say that this wheel has been great it's done everything I need it to the force feedback is great for games like Forza Horizon 4 it feels fairly natural but you can tell that it's obviously not a real car and probably if you spent more money on a wheel you could get a better quality one but for the price this is great and in the original video I said that there's quite a common problem where the wheel squeaks when turning left and I think I did demonstrate that in the original video but since I recorded that, that went away so the squeaking stopped but a few weeks ago it started again so let's just listen to that hear that? it's only when the wheel goes left and it's only when it's fairly quick but when the force feedback is on it's quite noticeable because it probably doesn't sound very loud on the camera but in real life that is quite loud especially when you're trying to play a game and all you can hear is squeaking but apart from that it's been fine and this has only just started happening again now so maybe if I start using the wheel a bit more frequently the noise will go away again but it's not really that much of a big deal the buttons on here still feeling fine everything is still working I've been using this fairly regularly recently I've been using it pretty much every day everything still feels as it was when it was new but the leather is starting to show like it has been used as I guess it would there's a few scuffs starting to appear on the bottom but of course that does not affect the performance of the wheel in any way it's purely just aesthetical so I did also get the shifter which was an optional extra it's a six speed and then reverses in six that sometimes I forget about that train going to reverse just going to six and then the car crashes but oh well that's just something you're gonna get used to over time but some reviews of this shifter said that it was quite cheap feeling and I think for the price it's fairly good and after nine months of use it's starting to feel a little bit loose but it still serves its function it still changes gear but recently I've noticed that when going from second to third sometimes it just won't go into third whether it's because it thinks I'm pushing down too hard or something I'm not sure and then sometimes going from fifth into fourth it just doesn't go in at all and goes into second which is kind of a big problem when you're racing but it doesn't happen very often and it's probably down to user error really and not aiming properly but it is very easy to miss shift with this thing and as I did say it's starting to get a little bit loose but that's not really much of a problem. Now if we take a closer look at the top of the gear shifter the leather is still looking fairly nice on here but the thread they used to stitch it together is kind of starting to come apart but of course that doesn't affect the use in any way so it's not really a big problem and it's important to remember that if I did need to replace the top of this shifter I can just take the cap off like that unscrew this one there's a screw in there and then just put a new one on so if I needed to I can change it quite easily now the thing that's mentioned most in reviews of this steering wheel is the pedals and I did mention it in my original video as well but the brake pedal is terribly stiff and it genuinely is impossible to press it to a hundred percent now I think I mentioned it in the original video too but there are companies you can send your pedals to they remove a bit of foam or something from inside 
and that makes the pedal easier to press but of course that voids your warranty and that's not something you want to do if you've still got some warranty left on this product so maybe once the warranty runs out I'll try and sort this pedal out but really once you get used to it and remember that when you press a pedal not much is going to happen it's okay the clutch pedal is fine it's a little stiff but that's how you would expect a clutch to be so that pedal still works just fine the accelerator nice and easy to press that still works but then the brake is the biggest problem that I have with this thing but once you get used to it it's alright. If we look at the way that the actual pedals have held up they've still kept their nice and brushed finish hardly any scratching to them really and they still look pretty much new so these pedals are actually made out of quite a nice material still looking very good indeed. Now finally I just want to talk about some software problems mainly on Xbox but there have been a few problems on PC too where sometimes on the Xbox the wheel just randomly disconnects and starts violently doing that going from full lock to full lock and the only way to stop it is to unplug it and of course if you're driving nicely then all of a sudden using full force it starts shaking it can actually be quite painful quite a few times I've ended up really hurting my wrists but since the latest software updates on Xbox it seems to be fine but you never really know if it's going to happen again so you do have to be quite wary of the force feedback because it can be quite violent but as long as you're aware of what can happen everything's fine. But that was everything I really wanted to say overall this has been a great product it's a lot better than the old Thrustmaster Ferrari wheel that I had. I bought one of those for 360 and then one for Xbox One. They were great at the time but this is just so much better. Maybe at some point I'll do a comparison between them but overall this has been great. It has done everything I thought it would but there is just a few issues as I've mentioned but as long as you're aware of those this is still a great wheel to buy even though it's been on sale for quite a few years now. So this is my opinion of it after nine months of use and I am fairly happy with it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was somewhat useful to you if you're going to buy this wheel and wanted to know how it holds up. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.